What's up everybody, Cam Shaft here with another video. Today we are gonna talk about something that everybody asks me about. It's difficulty of cryptocurrency mining. What is it? How does it affect how much I'm gonna make? Is the difficulty bomb real? Who knows? Stick around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, I know it's been a while. I apologize. I have a lot of things going on. I'm uh, looking for a house. There's things uh, going on with the office, everything. Um, it's been very busy, so I want to apologize for that, but I will be making some videos uh, upcoming week, um, so don't worry. So I wanted to give a shout out to my cryptocurrency mining group. Um, they can be found, you can see the link right up here, Facebook groups uh, slash crypto mine. I'll leave the link down below. Um, so I asked them what my next YouTube video should be about, and they all wanted difficulty. Difficulty and sausages, but we'll talk about that at a later time. So shout out to the group. Thank you very much for uh, you know staying active. As you can see, we're uh, over a thousand members uh, within a short period of time. I really appreciate that. Um, so with that, let's get into the video. So somebody asks, what is cryptocurrency mining difficulty? Um, so the best way that I can explain it in a very simple term is that if you have an Easter egg hunt, and you could and you consider the Easter egg hunt trying to find shares, um, trying to mine blocks. If you have, let's say, an Easter egg hunt going on, and you have one thousand eggs out there, and you have five people searching for the eggs or five people mining the block solving transactions, they're gonna find a lot of eggs really quickly too so <clears throat> let's step back and think about those same thousand eggs out there and you have 500 people out there looking for these easter eggs they're not going to find as many right it's going to take longer it's going to be more difficult um so think about the finding of the eggs as a difficulty of how many shares you can find, how many blocks you can mine. Um, so think about it in that uh, perspective as we go forward in this video. So one of the things I wanted to show you is a website that I commonly use. It is coinwars.com. Um, and if you can see up here, you have, uh, you know, a few different um, options, drop downs. So if we choose cryptocurrency charts and we go to difficulty charts, this is where we can start. Um, and, you, you know, choose your coin of liking. So we're going to talk about Ethereum today. So we're going to click on Ethereum. It's going to load up here and then you kind of get a chart view kind of like you would a stock or what have you. Um, so as you can see, um, Ethereum's difficulty has been rising over time. So you can imagine I started in May. So you think about the difficulty was uh, way down here. Right. Um, and then, you know, it's gradually gotten larger and larger. Um, and, and we had this big spike uh, right around August, especially on um, August 24th. You can see it just it just popped up. And then all of a sudden on the 25th, you had, you know, down here you're at uh, 17 and up here you're at 22. So it just popped up like crazy. Um, obviously the price rose, so that has something to do with it. I think some big mining firms were switching over some of their miners, maybe from Bitcoin. Maybe they chose half of the farm to go over to Ethereum. Who knows? This difficulty, uh, will rise and fall over time. So I'm looking at a weekly period here. You can see it kind of dips down and it goes back up. Um, one interesting thing that I found today was that if you take 
Um, so here's another chart. You can actually find this in here too. This is the network hash rate chart. Um, so think about this in, you think about your hash rate for your miner, right? Usually in mega hash or a Terra hash if you're, if you're way up there. Um, so you can, if you look back, let's go back three months and let's go back three months see how it's kind of gradually uh, gone up and so has the how many people are mining has gone up as well um, and you, you could see those pops so it's it's kind of um, a representation as more people are mining the the hash rate is going up so therefore we're trying to look for all these Easter eggs it's making it more difficult to more difficult so think about it in that respect <clears throat> you can see even if you did it down to a weekly chart um, the weekly charts are going to be very very similar um, take a look at them side by side here so you look at them both side by side and you can see that it's it's very very close right you have ups and downs ups and downs so as more people are mining it's more difficult to find these uh shares to mine these blocks so <clears throat> another way you can look at this is think if anybody in here is familiar with burst coin burst coin is a proof of um proof of space you know, so how many terabytes you have that you're mining with. So let's just look at this pool. This is um, pool.burstteamusa. So you can see the difficulty here is 122 um, terabytes. So if I have at home, I have like, I think it's like 40 terabytes. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm down here. There's so many other people trying to um, to solve these these blocks, mine these um, transactions. So you can think as this goes down, which is really this fluctuate throughout the day, it may go down to um, eighty thousand. I see that I'm able to find more shares to mine more blocks uh, much quicker. So let's move into the space of the price versus. Uh, the difficulty. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back to when I first started mining. Um, and as you can see, this is the date up here. So um, May 11th, um, you can see that at only 97 mega hashes per second, um, this is the average. So this is what this is based off. Of. I was able to mine three Ethereum uh, per month. Um, so let's go forward a little bit, um, here a little bit later, um, 521 at 94 mega hashes right up here, I was able to mine 2.6. So as you can see, as we go forward in time, um, the amount of Ethereum I can solve is going down over time. So 1.91, um, 1.79. Um, so you could see this number going down, right? Because difficulty is rising, 1.49. And, uh, you know, you can think about, but if you go back here, look at also, look at uh, the BTC price. 1,824. It's almost $5,000 now. It's it's incredible. So as your BTC price goes up, your Ethereum price will rise as well. Um, so you can see I was making uh, uh, 280 a month here. Um, fast forward a little bit, even though, um, okay, uh, the difficulty is rising. The price of the coin is also rising so you can see that as well so here you go so we bumped up from uh ethereum being worth 0 0.06 at 2364 dollars a month at 98 mega hashes and now 
uh, 500 a month, uh, you know, because Ethereum, you know, Ethereum price went up, um, Bitcoin price went up a little bit. So let's fast forward. Um, let's go up to um, this is uh, June here. So uh, June 23rd, 1.79. And this is at 130 mega hashes. Um, obviously, Ethereum versus BTC has gone up. So now we're almost up to $600. Um, but I'm having to use more compute power um, in order to make that happen. So you kind of have to scale up. Hey, look, there's Zach Karen up there. Um, so you, you kind of got to go up. You know, um, I decided to scale up as I went through time. So fast forward to July 9th here. <clears throat> now I'm able to find 2.2 at... 0 0.09 so you can see ethereum dip back down here we are 530 dollars a month um bitcoin prices is, is, is nominal it's about half of what it is now um so we continue and you can see that as we go up everything changes right ethereum price changes it's kind of like the stock market right you're not going to make the same every single day every single month that's just not going to happen um, so here we are. Let's go into the current month on the first. I'm able to at 285 mega hashes find 1.57. Wow, what a dip, right? So, but you could see BTC is up, right? So everything is kind of going up. Um, Ethereum is at $392, so I'm making $619 uh, per month at the current price. Um, and if you go, here's, uh, okay, 624, and I thought I had one more slide, but maybe not. Let me see if I can find it. So here's today. This is such a great example. This is, this is on the 1st. 9-1, I'm mining 1.59 at 288, and I'm getting $624. Now, fast forward, the price dip, see, 391, 391 at 4,800, and then 344, see how we dipped down there? Um, I'm, I'm solving more Ethereum because I, I added, right, I'm at 290 now as opposed to 288, but the price went down. So my mining per month has gone down. You know, remember when I was making uh, two to three Ethereum, um, and now I have to I have to use this kind of compute power um, in order to make this. But it really depends on the Ethereum price. So if Ethereum, let's say, was at, you know, the current price, let's say 1.5, and, and this was worth 600 wow you know that's um 900 a month so it, it you're really going to be looking at this i know difficulty changes over time but we're expecting the rise in these prices over time as well so i hope that has answered a lot of your questions for difficulty if you have any more questions please leave them in the comments below um with that i hope you all have a great labor day weekend and we'll see you next time